hi, hello, and happy holidays. It's been two weeks since I last streamed. Lord. I mean, it's understandable. I had some stuff going on, but be back. Kind of missed it. So, we are doing something a little different today. A, I'm streaming a bit later just to mess with it. So, I'm doing Pokemon tonight. Uh, I got needed a little bit of a break from the Platinum Randomizer. So instead, we are going to be playing Solar Ash. And I mentioned it on Twitter, but this is very much a game I was intending to play on my own time, because um, I've been waiting for it to come out for a while. It's made by Heart Machine, who made one of my favorite indie games ever. But, um, I don't know. I just have actually not really gotten around to playing it much. Like, I think I played up to the first boss, which is only, like, took me, like, maybe 20 minutes to get there. So, uh... I haven't touched it since, and I really want to play through this whole game, so I think I'm going to turn this into a stream series instead. But, uh, it's cool. Visuals are great. Gameplay feels really good, at least from a little bit I've played. I'm excited to see how they expand on the base mechanics. Uh, I guess, before I head into it, last minute little housekeeping. Actually, I don't think anyone's here to hear this, but... I should be, get in a better habit of doing it anyways. Uh, so I'm up snacks for Avery. I go by either. You can generally find me anywhere under the, that handle. Uh, if you follow my Twitter, generally that's when I post when I'm going to go live and all that. And uh, if you'd like to support the stream, spreading the word that I'm live always helps a ton. I really kind of just do this for me. And my friends who want to watch, but it does help me a lot if there's, you know, more forks in excuse me, i out of practice as you can tell I'm super rusty. Uh, more folks that are here, the more fun it is because uh, I like talking to people, but it's just me. But uh, if you do want to do monetary support, I do have donations as well as a sub button uh, up to you, totally not necessary. This is by no means any form of financial support for myself. This is just something I do as a hobby. And uh, now that I did that very rough roundabout way, I think it's time we get into the game. Also, why am I in pissed off mode? There we go. God. Reason, half the reason I probably don't play this game is because I keep forgetting that it's on the uh, Epic Games launcher. Let's see. Capture up for y'all. There we go. So yeah, as you can see, I only played for like 20 minutes so far. So we are going to start a new file. I'm sure the audio is not too bad. Be good. Oh, should let me know if the audio is not great. No, I think it's about time we get back into it. Or at least not back into it. Start our first run. Not run. First playthrough. I do also like that they gave you the game settings before starting the file here. Very like just good like dev practice, I guess. So I'm not sure how things have changed. I thought initially I heard this was meant to be the spiritual successor of Hyperlight Drifter, but now it feels more like it's just its own thing. So I'm not going to read this text. I'll let y'all go for it. Uh, this is mostly voice acted. I'm not really up for reading right now. <laughs>
I was really worried I was going to cover the text there for a second. In which case, I would have had to read it. So can we talk about the, like, the main character design in this game? It's phenomenal. Another one. I told you all to leave me alone! Not gonna lie, I did not expect there to be voice acting in this game when I first played it. Again, considering Hyperlight Drifter had literally no dialogue, not even text. It's interesting, it's different. I kinda liked just the pure atmospheric storytelling. But I've kind of come to like it for this too. So, uh. So this is the Ultra Boy. I believe I made it. Uh, I will admit, I have a really hard time sometimes telling where this game wants me to go, so if I get lost, uh, please bear with me. I'm a baby. I am baby. It took me an embarrassingly long time to find this ledge. Avoid runner shield kit. The crew must be nearby. Void's pull, but it's not too late. So this we're like, can any Void Runners hear me? I'm looking at the Star Seed. It's intact but not operational. Scanning for conduits. I was gonna say. So apparently we're in the black hole. Got a reading on the Sid note at the base. Let's turn it on. Wait, what's that? ran into some kind of massive serpent anomaly. Watch yourselves! Yeah, from what I was saying, actually I totally lost my train of thought. Uh, yeah. So this is supposedly in the black hole, I guess. Which is weird. I think it's interesting how there's just, like, stuff here. Let's see if my boosters still work. In safe mode. Hello, user. We are Sid. Centralized Yadavite database. Awaiting input. Um, Sid? It's Ray. What happened to you? Where's the team? I really like Sid's design. It's like a mix of like both like futuristic, but you know, there's really those like more like nomadic, I guess is some way to put it, elements in the outfit. We are Sid. Systems offline. Anomalous impediments detected. Sending locations data to your multi-tool. There's no way I can activate the star seed without Sid. Better scan for these anomalies and hope there's a way to remove the interference. first premise of the game is that you kind of just go around and do these like little platforming puzzles. Huh? There's a 
apparently we're trying to get rid of this black and blue stuff. Uh, putrid. This must be one of those anomalies. We better clear it out. So I have, again, I've played through this part, so I'm probably just going to kind of speed through it a little bit. But basically you have like a timer to get through this stuff. yet. Oh, I have to try that again. Huh? Give that one more shot. I also gotta remember I had like a speed boost. It's gonna make the game this a lot easier. Transition screen is really cool. One down, but there's still interference. It's like a little lower goody. A void runner cache. Please tell me the logs are intact. I'm definitely excited to see how they like play with gravity a bit more. So I think that I could grapple up there if I get close enough. This is where they start introducing grapple. Right, it's circle that lets me zoom in on it. I also kind of love that her weapon is basically just a giant like needle. It's very. I don't want to say Hollow Knight esque. I don't know, it feels like a very interesting weapon choice for this. You basically have a giant sewing needle as a weapon, slash sword.
now I can't go up that middle one because it just kills me. So, I'm gonna cheat. Actually, where the hell am I going? Here, I think. I've already gotten myself lost. <laughs> I'm also kind of wondering if they're going to do the same thing Hyperlight Drifter did, where they made all the, uh... My shields are full. For now. I'm wondering if they'll do the thing in Hyperlight Drifter where, like, the different suits give you, like, different colors. Okay, so some- they just don't give you the option to craft these sometimes. Yeah, it's only if they have this, like, circle indicator. emoji. Uh, I guess I made it mad. Here goes nothing. Time slip, Sid. Major an insufficient network connection. Uh, not gonna lie, I don't think it's supposed to be up there. <laughs> um, still quit out. That doesn't seem right. That seems more right. Yep. So, the way that at least this boss fight works is kind of interesting, where you just kind of have to try and ride along it and hit all these points before it knocks you off. This big ass worm. This is what happens when you let your worm off the string. shots you. <laughs> Thankfully the checkpointing in this game seems to be fairly forgiving. Which is nice. Of all his bones. 
an end, a beginning. Around we go. This infantry here just kicks so much ass. What is this place? Who are you? I was someone once. No longer. Now I am merely an echo. What I'm interested in here is that she's impaled with like the same sort of weapon that our main character uses. So it makes me wonder if the Void Runners are responsible for everything and just don't being have like time this. For this. How do I get out of here? I have heard that question so many times before. Useless as ever. That's enough! Send me back or get out of my way! I'm not in your way. The only thing standing between you and your precious starseed are remnants. Remnants of lost hope. Nothing more. That remnant nearly killed me. But I won't let that stop me from saving my people. Yes, yes. You need to fix everything. Ever the hero. I still really like that line. I grow tired of this. Perish. I love Echo. Big woman. Okay, so there's like four more bosses after that, I guess? Based on the pips on the starseed. I actually didn't notice that the first time. Now to have deleterious effects on biotic life forms. And it seems to have had quite an effect on us as well. We spent a very uncomfortable amount of time in safe mode. I'm just glad you're back online. Can you contact the rest of the Void Runners now that the interference is gone? Hmm. We cannot connect to Starseed conduits in any other sectors. Their signals must also be blocked by those anomalies. The remnants. Ah. Remnants, yes. If you remove these remnants, our network communication should resume, and we will be able to activate the Star Sea, collapse the Ultra Void, and thereby release our planet from its perilous gravitational pull. If the conduits are already set up, then the other Void Runners must have made it. We hope so too, Ray. We wish we could be more helpful, but our memories appear to be incomplete. All right, Sid. I'll reconnect with the other runners and reactivate your notes. Be careful, Ray. We're in this together. We'll help however we can. How can you help? We have many starseed conduits throughout the Ultra Void. They were placed to collect environmental data and calculate energy frequencies. Conduits also function as teleport pads, repair stations, and info hubs. Oh, so there's fast travel in this. How That's can we good. help you? Oh, I do not have enough juice to get another shield. I thought I had more. I found a Void Runner log. It sounds like they crash landed. No sign of the team. We're sorry, Ray. We're as mystified as you are. If you can retrieve more of their logs, it may help defragment our memory cells. I've been radioing my ship, but haven't had any response. Can you hail the XR Polaris? Hmm. It appears the remnants are blocking our signal. We will keep monitoring that wavelength in case a signal gets through. Let's see. Wait, uh, Ray. You look broken. Your shields appear to be damaged. Thankfully, we can uh, synthesize what's, plasma what's into new on? power cells, which will restore some functionality to what's your shield going array. On, game? Ray, did it... Please, Ray. I did not have this. The ultra is perilous. 
Repairing your shields. Oh, she gave she gave me the plasma. It's the likely finished installation. How can we help you? Oh yeah, and then it's 1k for the next one in doubles. I only have one suit, so there's that. I was gonna say, I'm gonna go grind for some more plasma to get that leveled up before I finish talking to her, but yes, here we are. We've always got time for our favorite void runner. This is a lot more um in-depth lore stuff. How much do you remember about our mission? The Ultra Void is pulling our planet into its orbit. We need to activate the star scene in order to collapse. I do kind of wish I could play this stuff for rendering it okay. inert. I'm glad you didn't lose all your memory, Sid. I'm glad you remember me. Of course we do. Do you have any questions about our mission? Actually, I need something else. See you, Sid. I might come back and read some more of that later, because I do kind of want to get on to, because now this is basically where I left off. So I want to see all the uh, things that I didn't get to. Excuse me, little dudes. Get this juice crystal. Probably just constantly refer to those juice crystals. Okay. Big scary eye wall. What do we do about this thing? Wonder oh. what's on the other side. I see. Die. That's a street lamp. Hold up. Why is there just a street light here? Hello? Oh my god, there's rail grinding in this? Oh hell yeah. Okay. This is really cool, actually. That's Faruqi architecture. They vanished over a hundred years ago. I guess this is what happened to them. Here are pretty messed up. Whoa, okay. That's how you work. You have a cone attack. Interesting. See more of these black hole monsters. This one off there. Oh, this is like just the way forward actually. No squids today. Void tech. One of the runners must have come this way. That could come in handy. Oh, just an elevator. Nice. So we'll wake up. Or go that way. Is there anything else? Its weak spot is exposed. I might be able to cut through it. It's like electrify it. Okay, well if that's there, what's this over here? There's like a, one of these things here. Oh, I'm probably supposed to be like clearing out signals, huh? Now that I think about it. Or 
gameplay loop. I'm gonna get, like... Another one? Okay. I'm gonna get, like, too lost in the, uh... Exploration sauce in this game, I feel like, if I'm not careful. One anomaly down. I should probably check what the rest of these are. There's a SID database over there, which also should be something I can go do. Squids up here. <laughs> it's like behind the building. Okay. Should be able to time slip to attack these creatures from a distance. Oh, interesting. somewhere cool and really it's just put pointing me along the correct path. These were these do anything? No, terrible game. First game I've ever played. Is there like a memory leak? Why does it keep hitching like this? I didn't have this issue last time. Here. What? It doesn't wash off. Are you okay? What happened here? I did it. To protect them. I'm sure you did whatever you could. Are you alone? Who? Oh, uh, who's there? I just need to find him. I need him to forgive me. Not gonna lie, I very much appreciate that like every character that's been introduced so far has been a woman, or at least feminine presenting. Who are you looking for? He's okay. Safe, just hiding. Maybe in our apartment, or the clock tower. Not the iron route. No, not there. Please, don't be there. She's too far gone. Maybe whoever she's looking for can tell me more about what happened. Have you seen any Void Runners? Anyone who looks like me? Runners? You can't run from them. I thought it was the only way to save us. I'm sorry. She's not all there. I better keep moving. Can I see you? Like, oh, you got like a little tail. Yo, we got cat girls in this. lurking in the ocean thing clouds let's get you back online critical systems offline repair network to resume functionality anomalous power sources detected sending location data to your multi-tool Right, and we've already got one of the enemies. 
units here, so there's to get. Network interference detected. Loading emergency services. Get more HP. Finished installation. How can we help you? I'll get you back online, Sid. Where else do we gotta go? That way. Two, three. Let's go here first. This looks like the apartment building she was talking about. I do love that there's just like street lights. It makes it feel just like. Oh, nostalgic? Is that the right word? I don't know. Is that a thing? That looked like a thing. There's like a little box up there. Can I hit that? I want goodies. It is. It's just more plasma, but still, good to know. Walking on this is tougher than it. Oh, well, never mind, that's not so bad. Was that just for that? I think it was. straight past it. We gotta get into this building somehow. It's probably just an entrance at the front if I had to guess. That's generally how apartments work. Maybe? I like in these like vines. Doesn't seem like it. How do I get in here then? Oh, camera. Get it? Maybe I just don't do this one first. Let's, I guess, try a different one. Maybe we get there through something else. Elevators here. Can't get in yet, but okay. Yeah, it's starting to look like we gotta get up to the rooftop somehow. Go from there. I'm guessing what this is for here. Huh? Not quite. Maybe I can get up this guy. Oh, there's another one of these doors here. Does feel really nice. Oh, your, where's your face? Did not mean to time stop that. Who are you? I wish there was like a zoom in button in this so I could like. Oh, that's skeletons. Okay. Dude. 
comes out of here. Let's break this. Oh, this is just a straight up rail. It just goes straight up the wall. Okay. Yeah, I gotta start there. Well, good thing I unlocked that. Be missed. Alright, but how do I go across there to get elsewhere? There's ways on top of all the buildings that I guess don't necessarily necessitate going to each one. Just gotta find the right railways to go up. Definitely looks like there is a railway up to the top of that. Oh, I'm just in like the ass of the map. I don't think I'm hitting up anything here. Are those rails down there? That just looks like a kill box. Yeah, I probably shouldn't go down there. Oh, there's like not really any sort of rail hopping. You kind of do have to just land on it. Unsettling sound of creaking and groaning all throughout the city, and the tremors will not stop. I'm going to the temple to check on the old priests. Derek on Dander Paws. Dander Paws. These are just some real D and D character names, and I'm so here for it. Tarragon, pa Dander Paws. <laughs> Grapple gives you so much momentum, I love it. Right now, there's elevator. Get that bastard out of here. To climb up the slop. That's the no-touchy stuff. Uh, I 
screwed up. Hopefully I did not die. I gotta remember to like use my R2 more. <laughs> I just can't go up that, so I do have to climb. Unless there's like some weird platforming thing I'm missing. But I don't think I am. So. I think I just gotta climb up the slot. Oh, it's not done? Oh, shit. Okay. I thought that was going to be the last one. Oh, it's over that way. I thought it was back by the checkpoint. Okay, 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 okay. I'm getting this down. time stop extends your grapple range. It helps so much when you're like scrambling. What are these things? They're just black goo and moan. Not much to it. There's you and there's you. I think that's that clock tower deal. No fall damage in this game, hell yeah. That's what we like to see. I guess I can just... I never went upstairs here. Close enough to you? There we go. A single one of those like squid things attack. It's mostly that's just these weird uh, like thorn spitters that are in me. Also very much appreciate that you can just kind of slam into a subway and get owned for it. Elevator. Got our fast travel or Dark Souls shortcut here. Now, you're a 
I totally missed. Actually, what's it down here? There's a wall here. Is this just like a way back? It is just a way back. There's a wall on the outside. Okay. Oh. As a disclaimer, I've heard some people call this like very akin to like maybe a 3D Summit game. Not quite, but I get the vibe with the rails. Uh, I have not played any Sonic games other than like Black Knight, which is very much like different than most Sonic games, so I may ask you to bear with me here as I try and do these jump puzzles. Oh, I went very far down. Oh god. Hey, so the full runners to leave us uh, an elevator, eh, Luigi? for a puzzle up here. Not quite at the top yet. Can I get in here? Uh, yes, but not yet. our first stuff. to get our shield, but also I don't want to have to come back here. Oh, 
Oh, that's a big boy. to get some shield back before I'm gonna go running up there. So wait, shit, I didn't go in the clock tower yet. I need to do that. shields back, which is very important. Ow. I got beamed. Okay, how do I get in the clock tower? Am I not able to get in there until I clear the Sonali? Sorry, I'm totally ignoring the boss because I'm curious. If I get in here, can I just drop down? Oh, there is a hole for me to drop down in. This looks like someone's in here. They are. Come in, I trade command. I don't read you. Come in. This is Lyris, where the clock tower candle flies. Everything's in position. Those hungry bastards can eat fire tonight. Wait, isn't this the person we saw back at the temple? Lyris, is it? There's no one out there. Everyone's gone. What did I tell you about leaving your post? Can't let them triangulate our position before the big light show. Right, my post. Um, where is that again? The apartments, two blocks north of here. Or were you on the scouting mission to the Dross Hive? In the Iron Route? You lost your nerve, Scout? I don't think she knows she's in the Ultra Void. Interesting. What's going on? Okay, where's the boss? Let's go actually kill a dragon. so digging how this boss fight works. I like that it's all just like platforming and path navigation. It's fun. It still kind of has that sort of like you kind of like either gotta be good at reflexes or like you memorize things. Oh, here I am. It's like, where did that put me? I 
I will say, like, even though this definitely feels like its own thing, I really hope there is, like, some mention of Hyper Light Drifter in this game. I think, I want to see, like, the lore tie-ins and how they do it. had a perfect fight there. choose your path any more than you can stop chasing your impossible dream it's not impossible i'm going to save my people i risked everything everything you risk more than your own life child there are fates far worse than death i welcome them if it means i can stop my planet from being destroyed Oh, yes, of course. You think this was a decision, with your indomitable free will. Then enjoy your freedom. Is Chinita there? restored to this node, along with a modicum of local memory data. Good. Can you activate the star seat now? Negative. All conduits will need to be operational before we can activate the star seat. We're running out of time. We need to work faster. Restoring signal to this node has reactivated our conduit warping protocols. We are uploading them to your multi-tool. It should help speed up your mission. To put it plainly, open your map and select a conduit to teleport to it. What do you remember before you went offline? The memory is hard to parse, but... We believe Irving placed us near a temple. Irving and Darb were here. Where did they go? I need to find them. Darb is so names. It's just... I know that that can be a name, but it just feels... Weird. <laughs> we're not sure. But we know he placed several Voidrunner caches in the area. Perhaps 
Perhaps if you find those, he will be nearby. Do you remember anything else? Ah, we do clearly remember how pleased he was to see us back online. He called us a buttercup, which seems odd, as we lack the ability to hold or contain dairy. It's a term of endearment, Sid. Oh, we are happy to hear that. He seemed distraught and said he was glad we did not have to see what happened in the temple behind us. <laughs> Thanks for the juice. Finished. And how can we help you? Sid, your safety is paramount to the mission, Ray. And thank you for restoring our local memory logs. No problem. Incorrect. There are still problems. The star seed is not operational, and your planet is in peril. No, no, it's just an expression. I just meant... I'm glad you're here. Ah, we understand. Okay. Uh, we've been going for about an hour. Uh, I will say, I'm feeling a little funky tonight. It's just been cold at work, and I'm, like, recovering for something. I think I am going to end here. However, I am absolutely streaming this again. Again, this game rules. So, uh, y'all have a good night. Let me, real quick, take us to stream end. We're gonna put out for now. Let's see if we have anyone can aid here. So I did not pull up my dashboard like a girl. Go to section eight. Okay. Regular how to Oh that's right. Uh Jay's streaming. Let's shoot his way. See y'all. Let me call you sweetheart.